<laughs> My worker complains that this is a very bad soil. Yeah, a mixture of clay and rocks is not very conducive to digging around. However, this is a historic site with an important castle on the nearby hill and the boss who was digging out some of those here said yeah he already found a Merovingian spearhead and there is also a good chance to find some stone age artifacts here which of course it's place it's in the museum yeah I know my uh, Indiana Jones impersonation is not so great and by the way yes of course you can also eat the stinging nettles growing here and the uh, brambles also make for an excellent tea the tarp we are using to put the poke wheat on is slowly filling up here you can see that the plants are not as small and as young as they look uh, they've just been cut down a couple weeks ago here I found a bunch of really young ones those are seedlings from this year which I assume will have a lot less poison however I'm not the first one who assumed this the deer that just browsed a little bit on those here have eaten most of the leaves here but unfortunately I guess because of the deer doing this those stems already getting quite pinkish well here the young stems are often still quite greenish those a little bit more dark still I take a couple of them I think this is gonna be a big fail that they're gonna poison myself like a boss next part so different parts are edible the leaves and the young stems which are too thin for peeling are supposed to be chopped up and cooked like that well, the thicker stems can be peeled, but by thicker stems they're referring to stems that are three to four times that thick, like two, three, four centimeters, or like one to one and a half inches roughly. So what am I going to do? I'll try to peel a couple of the thicker ones and everything else I'll put together, boil it, change the water a couple times, and then let the poisoning begin. I managed to kind of peel a bunch of stems, although not too tidily. Those I will chop into little rings and then I'll just chop a bunch of the other stuff. I'm sure all the Appalachian hillbillies and rednecks are drowning on their moonshine and already crying over my dead stupid uh, city college kid body and now let's put the pot herb to the pot are you already cringing wondering whether I'm gonna survive well it's very easy to find out if I post the video I'm alive if I don't yeah sorry guys Apparently you are supposed to boil for 3 minutes, change the water, rinse and repeat, literally. And if you are wondering why I am doing a video on greens, well, I did the video on the fruits of the pork wheat less than a week ago and it was so successful. And also, it is the greens of an important fruit. Shut up, I'll bite poisonous fruits. <coughs> so I think, uh, I think I can do whatever I want. It's my channel anyways. Change the water. Rinse. And repeat. Rinse. interesting how the different parts react to this treatment the stems they haven't changed color or consistency or anything 
but the leaves are falling apart. Three times should be enough, but I think I'll do it two times more for good measure. Rinse. And repeat. This five times should be enough, I guess. Uh, well, we are losing more than half of the leaf mass already. Just a couple spoonfuls <laughs> for so much work. Do I really want to do this? So the main poison seems seem to be some strange saponin and oxalate and the symptoms are quite interesting well vomiting convulsions cramps passing out headache and so on and so on and so on okay let's try first one piece of the peeled poke. Mm. And the poisons seems to correlate with the bad taste and stinging in the mouth. Mm. Mm. Taste a bit of spinach, but yeah, there are some oxalate needles in here. Hmm. Yeah. The bad funky taste they describe is not here, but there is definitely some oxalate. Not a lot, but yeah, pity. Yeah, even a little oxalate. It's yeah, it it is like eating glass needles. It is literally eating glass needles. Oxalate is um, basically yeah, glass needles inside the plants. Yeah, pity. Still have half a bag full. Okay, yeah, I think I would survive eating all of this, but with those little oxalate needles, it's not too pleasurable. They are not too bad, they are not too many in there. It's more or less like eating monster, but without the good taste, but nope. This was a nice experiment, but I would say from the practical point of view, a failed experiment. I'll do it again in spring, now that I'm hooked. Without the oxalate, the taste is not bad, basically like spinach. Yeah. So folks, this was my attempt to eat um, poke wheat in September. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos and sometimes also other edible parts of fruity plants videos from the beautiful and incredibly furrowed rich forests of um, Germany and of course don't forget to like share comment and subscribe